2012, hindi nyo po naitanong, uh, ako ay uh, may Facebook contest na sinalihan, yung People of the Year. So alam nyo na uh, pati Facebook contest ay aking pinapatulan. <laughs> ako ba ang nanalo noong 2012? Ako ba ang People of the Year? Hindi po ako ang nanalo. Sinong nanalo nun? Si uh, Secretary Robredo. Okay, pero pumanaw na siya nung nakuha niya yung recognition at ako naman, ayoko munang pumanaw. So, okay lang. Natanggap ko yon Ako ba ang first runner-up? Hindi rin ako ang first runner-up. Ang first runner-up noon ay si President Aquino. Pero natanggap ko rin, sapagkat si President Aquino ang aking appointing authority. Hindi pwedeng masikat ka pa sa boss mo. Okay, so... Ako po ang second runner-up. So maraming salamat at uh, malamang po hindi kayo bumoto sa akin. Kaya uh, uh, salamat na lang at ngayon ay parang gusto nyo na akong makilala. Pero bakit ako proud? Na, dahil ako lang walang binatbat po dun sa People of the Year at uh, talagang marami lang kaming kamag-anak. Ang tatay ko po ay labing pitong magkakapatid. So kaya siya ay naging mayor ng Batanga City dahil po lahat ng botante ay kamag-anak namin. Okay? Uh, pero mas proud po ako dahil Second runner-up ako, ang sumunod po sa akin, si Nora Honor. Sinod po dito, mga kapagsabi, na sa isang punto sa buhay ninyo ay kayo'y mas sikat pa kay Nora Honor sa superstar. Anong lesson ang nakuha ko doon? Ang nakuha ko, lahat pala ng mga fans ni Nora Honor wala sa Facebook. Napaka-profound po kasi philosophy teacher ako ng sampung taon. So, makita nyo ang aking uh, career path ay parang walang no rhyme or reason. May aerobics instructor na parang, hmm, kanina, parang doon kayo na-impress, kayo talaga. Tapos, syempre, mga iba dyan, ay hindi naman masyadong halata, okay? Pero wag na, wag na tayong mainggit. Uh, ten years, I was teaching philosophy. I studied my master's in philosophy. And then, um, I, have, I had two siblings who studied law. Sabi ko, abay, nako eh, ako yung nagtuturo nun sa, sa philosophy sa UP. Meron akong pang gasolina, pang bayad ng gasolina, wala naman akong pabiling kotse. So sabi ko, uh, kailangan humabol muna ako. So, nag-enroll ako sa working program ng UP Law dahil may dalawa rin akong kapatid na nag-aabogado. Sabi ko, ayokong ako maging pinakamahirap sa pamilya. So, nag, natapos. Natapos ako ng College of Law. And then, uh, joined a law firm. And then, uh, in between, naging aerobics instructor ako. <laughs> Hindi ko akalain na pawis na pawis mama ko. Yung pala, sa kahihiyan. Na parang ang hirap po kasing mag, uh, may counting. Eh, no? One, two. So, na, natanggap ko po sa sarili na hindi, hindi ito ang para sa akin. So, sabi ko, nagpaalam ako dun sa mga kapwa ko, aerobics uh, professor. Sabi ko, mag-aaral ako ng law. Sabi sa akin, what? Money is in aerobics instruction. So, mga one and a half minutes, <laughs> nag-isip po ako. Tapos, sabi ko, hindi, hindi, hindi. Tuloy na ako ng uh, law school. So, natapos ko po, and then, naging abogado ako ng Procter Gamble. Procter Gamble, ang uh, produkto niyan, eh, Tide, uh, Ariel, uh, Pantene. So, kaya tingnan niyo po ang aking mukha at wala pong mantsa yan. Napaka-bisa po ng Ariel. <laughs> Takakatanggal ng matcha. And then, I was uh, supposed to be sent to Singapore as an expat in 2010. Pagkakataon ko na umaman, mahal na mahal ko po ang, ang Procter Gamble, akala ko doon ako magre-retire. And then, the offer from Vice President Binay came because he was the, mamaya na kayo, baka marami kayong iniisip dyan, mamaya na kayo mag-chismisan. So, basta ang sabi sa akin ni VP Binay, uh, can you head pag-ibig fund? Sabi ko, Uh, sabi niya, tsaka huwag ka namang assuming, ibibigay ko lang yung CV mo, baka naman hindi ka i-appoint ni President Aquino. So sabi ko, sige po, pag-iisipan ko. So, binigay yung CV and then uh, kinabukasan na, uh, na announce na, na siguro masyadong madali, madalian. So na-announce, I uh, was appointed as President of, of Pag-ibig Fund. I did not have any experience in finance, in housing, um, I used to have one paralegal in Procter and Gamble. Pag-ibig fund had uh, has 5,000 employees. Uh, wala akong alam sa general management. So, pero malaki yung pananalig ko kay Batman. Um, sabi sa akin ng former CEO ng Pag-ibig fund, oh my, that's the best job in the world. Sabi ko, okay, now I have the best job in the world. A week after, I was in the Senate for investigation. 
Senator Sherwin. Uh, ako po yung matabataba dati, ay uh, bigla akong naimbestigahan. Ako po ay namayat. Kung gusto nyo po, ay kayo yung magpaimbestiga rin sa Senate investigation. Thankfully, after two months, na-terminate po yung, yung Senate in investigation. But uh, nung nagkaroon po ng bagong senador, noong mga 2013, pinaulit na naman yung Senate investigation. There was a uh, housing scam at that time. And then, uh, walang experience uh, Binigyan ako ng ganito ka, kata, kataas na mga dokumento para basahin. Sabi ko, ay, hindi ko na yan mababasa for the Senate investigation. So, dahil naniniwala ako sa principle of osmosis, uh, hinigaan ko na lang siya, inamoy-amoy ko, and then uh, projection ka lang sa Senate at uh, nakaligtas naman, nakaligtas ang uh, pag-ibig fund. And then the next 12 months, um, we implemented the reforms that we thought uh, will remove the vulnerabilities of Pag-ibig Fund. Pag-ibig Fund lends 100 billion pesos a year. At ako naman ay alam ko, sabi ko, kahit na sigurado ang trabaho sa private sector, uh, dito, presidential appointee, anytime uh, you can go. Uh, until, until now, uh, nakasubmit na kami ng, uh, ng courtesy resignation. So, kinamusta ako kanina. Uh, Nadyo ka pa ba sa Pag-ibig Fund? Yes, ang aking prinsipyo, today I am the CEO of Pag-ibig Fund. Tomorrow, I don't know, but today, I will still do my work. At uh, yung uh, uncertainty, ano ang gagawin dyan? Embrace the uncertainty. What do you do? What does embracing uh, uncertainty mean? It's taking the leap. And life is filled with a lot of uncertainties. Sa mga magpapakasal, sa mga naikasal na, pagka sinabi niyong I love you at uh, ikaw ang aking uh, mamahalin habang buhay, paano niyo nalaman? Ay, alam niyo lang ang pakiramdam niyo ngayon. Bukas di niyo alam kung anong pakiramdam ninyo, hindi ba? Pero you take the leap. What does that mean? It's going for something that is that you that uh, you don't know the consequences of. And when you don't, know the consequences, it's unsettling. It's going for something that's outside of your comfort zone. Uh, walang, wala akong kaalam-alam sa housing finance, pero abogado ako, marunong akong magtanong. Humble ako, para, sasa, humble ako uh, sapat yung aking pagiging humble para magtanong kapag ka hindi ko alam. May pinasok ba akong tao sa pag-ibig fund? Wala. Uh, except for my chief of staff. I worked with the organization, I trusted them, I said, ang tatagal na nila dyan sa pag-ibig fund. So, alam na nilang gagawin. So, they just need a leader who will try to encourage them and motivate them to come up with all the recommendations that they have in their head. So, what, what are the insights that I could share with you in, in embracing the uncertainty? Um, sigurado na sana yung career in Singapore. But this is one tip. Work towards being the best version of yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror in the morning. Or take a selfie. Or look at your Facebook page. If you look at, the, if you look at your pictures and you are an HR executive, would you hire that person that you see as part of your organization? Whatever that best version of yourself is, Every day, be aware that you can uh, do something to improve yourself. Uh, ako, tiningnan ko yung aking mga mamanahing sakit. Ang dami. Andiyan ang aking mami. Marami akong mamanahing sakit. Pero sabi ko, mag-e-exercise ako. 28 years na ako na nag-e-exercise araw-araw dahil ang prinsipyo ko, mamamatay ako ng hindi ko kasalanan. Hindi ko kasalanan ng ang magiging dahilan ng aking pagkamatay. I read, I read the news, uh, I read books, I talk to people, I talk to, I talk to interesting people, I also talk to uninteresting people. So para ma maiba lang, araw-araw. So iba-ibang, iba hindi ako mahilig kumain sa isang lugar na pare-pareho. Mahirap akong ma-disappoint dahil basta bago ang lugar, Bago ang taong kausap, kahit alang kakwenta-kwentang kausap, okay sa akin yan. Kasi may na, 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 critical thinking ako, ah, ito, ito ang tao na hindi ako magiging katulad. Okay? So at least, uh, uh, meron akong insight. So imagine ninyo kung pare-pareho yung kausap nyo, pare-pareho yung kinakain nyo, uh, boring. Okay? So uh, 
why do you have to work towards being the best version of yourself? You don't know when the opportunity will come. So noon akala ko, pinaplano ko na, I will be a lawyer for, for Procter & Gamble. Akala ko until retirement. And then there's this opportunity. Sabi ko, pwede akong pagsamantalahan ng, ng gobyerno kasi ang hina akong kumain eh. Konti lang ang pangangailangan ko sa buhay. Masipag ako, nag-aaral ako. So, pwedeng-pwede. So, always think of what, ki, what can make you a better person. Hindi kailangan maganda physically. Kung positive ang mga sinasabi, maganda, gumaganda rin ang ating pagkatao. The next is start the work. Do not waste time. So, as of now, I said, I don't know until when I will be CEO. Hindi ko namalayan because in the last five, in the last six years, I offered to resign around three times. Sapagkat may mga, sina, may mga pinipilit na ibang transactions at sinasabi ko sa aking chairman, chairman, hindi pwede. Hindi pwede. Uh, illegal uh, against the regulations. So, pero pagka idinulog ko sa aking chairman, anong sabi, sa, naghihintay ako na ifa-fire ako ng aking chairman. And in fact, in-offer ko na sinabi ko na dapat aligned ang presidente at saka chairman. Baka po may hindi ako nakikita na gusto niyong ipagawa sa akin, hindi ko yan magagawa. So, okay po ako to, as, to appoint another president. And thankfully, sabi sa akin ng chairman, kung ano ang sa tingin mo tama, yan ang gawin mo. So, lumakas ang loob ko. Aba, okay. Pero ibig sabihin, dapat handa kang umalis. Dahil iniisip ko, ako naman ang pipirma dyan eh. Ako naman ang makukulong dyan kapag ka hindi dapat ang pinirmahan. Sasabihin ko pa sa inyo kung ano yung paborito kong cookies at magazines para dalawin nyo ako, bisitahin nyo ako pagka ako yun nasa kulungan. E di, wag na lang. How do I guide myself? Lagi kong iniisip or lagi nating isipin sino yung tao sa buhay natin na ini-imagine natin na pag nalaman niya yung ginagawa mo, mahaharap mo pa ba yung taong yan? Sa akin, yung aking anak, who's uh, the world karate champion, Jamie, uh, wag na natin siyang uh, mamaya pasampulan natin kayo. <laughs> Oo. Pero yun lagi ang aking guide na pag ito nalaman ng aking anak, mahaharap ko pa kaya siya nang, nang nakatitig ako sa, sa, sa mata niya. And that... Um, that gives me a very good guide in my life. When I, when, you, when I say start the work, do not waste time, it's just like life. You don't know when is the end. Uh, when I came to Pag-ibig Fund, there was an insurance pool, uh, monopoly, walang competitive uh, selection, uh, walang period yung contract. Uh, our board said, kailangan mag-public bidding yan. Uh, and then it took us two years to study what is the best way uh, to, to, to terminate it. Uh, after two years, I was able to successfully, Pag-ibig Fund was able to successfully uh, bid it. Dati, uh, 43 cents per 1,000 ang, ang premium na binabayaran ng housing loan borrowers. Bumaba siya to 23 cents per 1,000. So that means for every 1 million pesos, 400, uh, 410 pesos per month ang binabayaran. Bumaba siya sa 230 pesos by just the decision of bidding it out. Matagal siya, pero ang point natin, pagka meron tayong trabaho ng napakalaki, hindi natin alam pa paano sisimulan. Lagi lang ang sinasabi ko, simulan mo. Take that first step. And then the second step. When you're overwhelmed, break it down. Ay, ang dami kong, gagaw, ang dami kong kailangan gawin. Break it down. Uh, first step, second step. So, just like in life, do not waste time. Start the work. And uh, do the right thing even when no one is looking. This is my definition of integrity. And for me, we, might, we can have a lot of uh, values, excellence, service, compassion, but for me, integrity is the one that defines our character. Integrity is the one that gives honor to our name. So, and, and that's why, think of that person who's, who's, uh, J who is my Jamie in my life. Jamie is the, the, the name of my daughter. Sino yung tao na imagine ninyo na uh, mag maggagabay sa inyo to not cross the line? So here, I have an I image of a line. Uh, Kung kaya natin na kahit wag nang lumapit dun sa wag nang lumapit sa line, 
lumayo ka na kung pwede. Huwag na yung uh, ito bang pagtanggap ko ng 20,000 pesos ay okay kasi maliit lang naman na amount. Okay? Huwag na. Kasi yung appearance ng uh, mali, baka ma-misinterpret ng aking 5,000 organization. So, lumayo ka na. So, this is very important, again, in preparing for the unpre unpreparable or any uncertainty. And be grateful. Um, until when will I have this opportunity and privilege of public service? I don't know. But for the last six years, even if I felt that I really gave all my honesty and integrity and excellence in public service, um, Pag-ibig Fund was dragged in a Senate investigation uh, looking for anomaly and corruption. It was very frustrating for me. But um, kahit when you are humiliated, humiliated on national TV, I made sure that I just answer questions and I use logic and reason. Um, et kahit na may mga tao pala na hindi logic and reason ang hinahanap sa mga investigation. But um, what is my reaction? I am still grateful for that experience because it strengthened my character. Um, lagi kong sinasabi sa atin, sa ating buhay, marami humihingi ng tulong. Okay na yon kesa tayo ang tinutut kesa tayo ang tinutulungan. So these um, these three things are the tips that I could share with you in in embracing uncertainty. Do not resist it. And um, for someone who did not know anything about my job, and I just tried to improve myself every day. I'd like to share with you my Pag-ibig experience. In 2010, we were just 38 branches. We have tripled. Now we're 119 branches. In 2010, we were 8 million members. Now we're 17 million members. We also doubled the housing loan amount, uh, 3 million. Now it's 6 million pesos. We had the highest loan takeout last year when I submitted my courtesy resignation. Everything was uncertain. Pero araw-araw, trabaho lang. We had the banner year last year. Highest housing loan takeout of 57 billion. And the performing loans ratio, it used to be as low as 72%. Now it's 93%. Meaning, nagpapalabas kami ng pera, but we make sure that we are able to collect it at performing loans. And the interest rate, it used to be 11.5%. Now it's down to 5.5%. Bumaba ang interest. Thank, thank you very much po. Pwede na po kayong mag-housing loan. Bumaba ang interest. Uh, the calamity loan is 10.75%. Now it's 5.95%. And uh, what am I so proud about? Uh, we lowered the interest rates, but the net income was highest last year of almost 25 billion pesos. So again, why am I saying this? I'm just proud that uh, every day I play it by ear. I, I rely on, um, on, on the values that I learned from UP, from my family, from Batanga City where I came from, and I want my family to always be proud uh, of me, and I want my daughter to always be proud of my name. So I'm uh, Darlene Berberabe. Uh, para, akong, um, para akong Boy Scout, dahil, di ba, dapat lagi kang handa at lagi kang tapat. And uh, nananalig din ako kay Batman. So, triple B to remember my talk. Berberabe, uh, Boy Scout, and Batman. Thank you very much.